What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So, in today's video, I decided to do a meet all of my skink video. Now, I've already done a meet all of my snake video, and I've also done a meet all of my tarantula videos, and I'll leave it, um, the link in the description down below for you guys to check those out if you are interested. But today I'm like, you know, what is a creature that I could highlight that is interesting, that I've been getting into a lot lately. And that happens to be my skink family. Now, before I get into that, I posted a video of my room tour where I gave you a tour of my room and I decided to do a little tiny mini series where I kind of go and talk about my room and kind of give you guys a history. And my goal is basically to make a playlist that way new subscribers can kind of just watch a whole entire, um, you know, history of my room from like start to finish because I am planning on constructing a lot. So stay posted. I'll still be posting videos like this where I'm talking in front of the camera, but I'm trying to give you guys something new and fresh. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that notification button. Now, with that being said, it's kind of crazy to think that a year ago, I wasn't really into skinks, but little by little, I started looking and researching about them, and I've just fallen in love with them. There's so many different kinds, so I'm kind of hoping that this video kind of shines a light on the skink family, and you guys could go check them out for, your, for yourself, and maybe you guys will actually want to get a skink, because they're pretty cool. So, I'm excited to give you guys an update on my skin. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Let's go. Okay, so you know what I just realized? That I turned on this fan, this fan, and this dehumidifier, and I'm gonna have to turn them off because it's a little bit too noisy to make this video. Great. But before I do that, I do wanna point out that in this room, I am adding a lot more fans um, to the ceiling and just um, overall in my room because I wanna have a nice circulation of air in here so that way, you know, all the animals that I have in here kinda have a nice breeze as well inside of their enclosure. So I have one up here. I plan on putting one in that corner. i have also planning on putting one up there and I also have this one here, and then I have this huge one just spinning right in the middle. So it's gonna be a little tiny vortex in here, and it's gonna be kind of cool because all of my reptiles are gonna get a nice breeze inside of their enclosure. But I have to turn them off now. Great. Okay, so the very first skink that I would love to introduce you guys to um, that is in my skink family happens to be my fire skink. Now, this guy right here, I just got him um, not too long ago, and he has been doing really, really well. I did a um, unboxing, or I did a reveal on him. I'll put also the link in the description down below on that video, but this guy right here has been doing really well. He's super calm right now, because he just kind of woke up, all the lights are turning on, and I'm right now kind of probably bugging him, but this guy right here, um, he's been eating, he's been um, drinking, he's also in shed right now. There's like little pieces of shed that are coming off of him, but he's been doing really well and his colors are popping because he just came out of shed. So I'm really excited, but the only thing that I'm 
a little bit bummed out is that I still haven't named him. Now, I thought of some names. I'm like, what could I name him? What could I name this little guy? I could name him Sriracha. I could name him Cheeto. I could name him... Well, I, I don't know. That's the thing. I couldn't come up with a name. Oh my goodness, but lucky for me, you guys in the description um, or in the comments down below in that video actually picked out some amazing names. So what I'm gonna do maybe later on in this video or later on um, in the next future videos is actually put all the names in a hat and dry it out. So let's actually do it in a future video. So leave some names in the comment section down below in this video for this little guy and I would pick out some names just randomly so if you guys give him a random name he's gonna be stuck with that for his whole entire life so oh my god <laughs> now as you can see he has a super super red color to him and I'm gonna kind of put the camera on him now look how orange slash red he is look at that look at his little tiny face <laughs> he's like a little tiny statue right now he doesn't want to be bothered hey little guy how are you doing little guy this guy just woke up, so he's a little bit like, hey, don't bug me. Come on, I'm still sleepy. I'm still sleepy. So I'm going to put him back inside of his enclosure, but this right here happens to be my fire skink. So as you can see, he's going back to sleep. He is like right there. You can still see his nice little tiny colors. And from time to time, I actually would see him dig around his enclosure, which is actually pretty cool. But it's nice and warm in there. He's nice and you know snug, and he's probably gonna go back to sleep and come out to eat. That's literally all a reptile does. Wow, what a little lazy little guy. Jeez Louise. <laughs> now, fire skinks are so cool and so adorable. It's one of the reasons why I fell in love with them, but little by little, I started doing my own research, and I started to notice that they do require a little bit more than, let's say, other skinks will. These guys still require high humidity, some UVB, also a basking light, and also a substrate that is deep enough that they could dig and also help out with the humidity in their enclosure. So if you're a new, you know, beginner or reptile enthusiast, you may not want to get a fire skink as your first skink because they do require a little bit more. However, if you're experienced with high humidity, UVB, and all of the good stuff, then I would recommend getting one, even though you can't really interact with them as much. So it's more of a like, here, like, I'm beautiful, look at me type of um, reptile. So I just love how, you know, they sometimes come out and eat. That's basically the joy I get out of them. I barely ever handle my um, fire skink as much as you may think. It might just be for a quick video or it might be even for a quick Instagram story and that's about it. Or even if I'm cleaning the enclosure, I might just clean around him. So if you're looking for a skink that you can handle a lot, a fire skink may not be the one that you want to get. But with that being said, I'm really excited to show you guys the next skinks that I have. So let me introduce you to, wait, hold on, I need to cut the scene. Darn it. <laughs> okay, so let me introduce you to my crocodile skinks. Now, these guys right here, I don't really post much about because these guys tend to only come out at night, but I am cleaning out their enclosures and I'm also making this video, so might as well also show you guys because imagine I just showed you guys a picture of them, but these guys are honestly so, so cool. And I had them in a little bit of water because I was giving them a nice little bath while I cleaned their enclosures. Holy snap. Now I have shown you guys these guys and if you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys will know that this right here is Drogon and this guy right here or this girl right here happens to be Little Miss Autumn and she kind of has a grip of her man like, hey, Valentine's was a while back. Hey, 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 stop it. She's like hugging him. <laughs> They're a little bit more of the shy um, skink so you don't really want to handle these guys as much either. As you can see, this guy right here is like wants to hide already. So I barely ever handle these guys. It's mostly just for videos or um, a quick picture. Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, hey, oh my God. <laughs> 
But these guys right here are so adorable. Um, honestly, I've had these guys for maybe about three years and they've been doing just extremely well. As you can see, this girl is like a nice plumpy uh, <laughs> little girl and she's, he's like, hey, don't be talking about my girl like that. She's beautiful. <laughs> but I really adore these guys and they have been growing a little bit since then. As you can see, like, he also has a little bit of a plumpiness right here and she's like hey don't talk about my man like that either yo these guys look like they will fight me like <laughs> if they were anything bigger i think this is the <laughs> this is something i would actually be afraid of but look at this now these guys right here like i said i've had them for about three years now and what i've learned from them is that they're super super shy um like right now me handling them like i kind of want to already just put them back inside of their enclosure because um they're always like hiding inside of there so they feel more secure more comfortable and they only come out at night to eat so if you're looking for something that you could handle always walk around with on your shoulder maybe put it on your head crocodile skinks are not the ones that you want to get um, even though they look cool and they look like very intimidating like this girl right here is actually pooping on me because she's a little bit scare like why are you oh god I got poop on me I got poop on me so the next skink that I would love to introduce you guys to happens to be my blue tongue skink oh my god oh hey oh my god why is everyone pooping on me <laughs> Oh. A few moments later. What a little naughty. Honestly, I had him inside of the bath because he pooped on me. But this right here happens to be my blue tongue skink blue. I've also did a video on him. Um, he was actually a rescue. The people who I got him didn't really, you know, much um, know much about um, um, blue over here, but. It's probably one of the main reasons why he's a little bit um, not so tamed. He actually does not like being handled, but I did have to clean his enclosure. And when I do, I sometimes just place him inside of water. That way he can maybe get hydrated or also clean off any um, poop that he might have or any pee or anything that might just not be good for them, um, you know, to have on their skin. So I just place him inside of the water just to give him a quick bath, but Hey, Blue, you want to you wanna go back inside your enclosure, don't you? Come on. He's going to hiss. Oh my, go oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, Blue. Okay, we're going to put you back. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. See? See? He knows me. See, this is something that I've been kind of working on him. Kind of just... You know, little by little, earning his trust, putting him inside of the, the water, even though the sink is a little bit tiny for him, but kind of just have him. The water's not even that deep. It's like not even like an inch, it's like a quarter. So you can see I'm trying also like not to talk as loud, you know, and overreact, over movements, but it's just a little something that I've been working on with Blue over here. And he's, and he's like calming down a lot. My goodness, okay, we're gonna put him back. But this right here happens to be blue, my blue tongue skink. Um, it's a journey, but I'm working with him and he's been calming down a lot more, but he definitely still does not like being handled as much. Um, but he's getting used to me and he's starting to mellow down. Just look at that blue tongue, look at that. <laughs> okay, don't look at that blue tongue. He does not wanna show you it. <laughs> no, there it is. But he is just absolutely adorable. Now, as you can see, most skinks are a little bit timid, a little bit more shy. So if you're looking for a lizard that um, you could handle, that you could hold, I wouldn't re uh, really recommend getting a skink, but you could definitely find blue tongue skinks that are very, very tamed. My little guy um, was um, a rescue, so he wasn't handled much by his previous owners, which sucked. But now that he's in my possession, um, I've kind of been um, handling him and I've kind of been working with him to um, tame him down a little bit. And each and every single day he gets better and better. Um, he's been eating like um, extremely great. Um, as you can see, he's a little bit chunky. And he also has been drinking a lot of water, which is also pretty good as well. So he's very, very good. Uh, I've also had him, um, him checked 
by the vet, which I do have some footage, which I plan on making a future video about um, and talk about all of the vet visits that I do for my reptiles. So if you would like to see that video, let me know in the comment section by, um, below and also subscribe and hit that notification button. But with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to hit that thumbs up like button and let me know in the comment section down below what group of animals you would like to see me highlight in my next video because I have quite the group. I also have my bearded dragons that I could probably do a meet on my bearded dragon video about. I've also had um, my geckos as well that I could show you guys. I have so many more um, videos and ideas that I want to share with them, um, with you guys. So let me know in the comments down below um, and also hit the subscribe button. Oh wait, you also have to hit the notification button, baby. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm Lord of Lion, keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys so here in my next here we video. Go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby.